Today we're visiting with the Department of Public Works. We're right next to the Health Department in the new courthouse and we're meeting with Jasmine and Pat to talk about some ongoing projects that they have going on. So now I'm joined with Jasmine and Jasmine, we're right between the Health Department and the courthouse. Whose project is this? So this started off, it's called the Circuit Courthouse Landscape Enhancement Project, but it really has benefits for both the courthouse and the health department. So we're going to beautify the landscaping at the courthouse, as well as we've installed this new sidewalk between the two buildings and there'll be some steps connecting them so people won't be just cutting across the grass. Um, and we're also significantly um, enhancing the drainage at the health department. So there's three dry wells that have gone in as part of this project. In this area where we are, there's a clay layer and then below that there's a sandy layer. So we made sure to dig deep enough to get to this sand layer and we've actually connected the downspouts of the health department to these dry wells so that the water can infiltrate down. So instead of getting big pooling areas of water like we were before in between here and in the parking lot, we are going to have better drainage and enhanced environmental benefit as the water is able to connect uh, directly down to the groundwater again. So I'm sitting here with Pat and we're right next to the courthouse and we're right in the parking lot of the health department. And Pat, where are we looking at today? We're looking at a pervious concrete parking area that has been treated, uh, cleaned, while we're doing this, this project right here versus impervious uh, pavement and then pervious concrete over there that ha hasn't been cleaned. So we're going to test the, the dissipation of the water or infiltration of the water through all the surfaces. Great. All right, so we're going to do some exper experiments on the porous concrete. We've got this device that's pretty homemade, so you guys at home might be able to do something better. It's just a piece of plastic tubing with a hole in the bottom and we have a rubber stopper in it. We're going to see if we can see a difference with infiltration in our uncleaned porous concrete, our regular asphalt, and our newly cleaned uh, pervious concrete over there. So Pat's gonna push this down um, and we're gonna see how long it takes for this all this water to drain through this uncleaned pervious concrete. All right, Pat, you wanna hold it down for us? Yeah. Okay. All right, I, I can pull that yep. if you just push. I would push more, yeah, ready? in, it's out. So it's leaking a little through the sides. It's, it's about here now. It's not draining very quickly. And if you look at it, you can see it's a little bit clogged with a bunch of rocks and debris. It was installed in 2012 as part of a retrofit for this parking lot, which includes all the bioretentions, and about half of the stall is pervious concrete and half is regular. This side has 17 stalls. Is it drained out, Pat? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's drained out. It took a few seconds there. Mostly. Not completely successful with our device, but we're seeing it mostly run wide instead of going through the concrete. So just like over there where we saw the water spreading out and not going down, we're expecting to see something similar on this impervious surface. We might get a little bit of a better seal around the bottom, so it might be even slower as well. So I'm going to pull the stopper and pulling. And so the water is just sort of sitting there not going down, also not coming out the bottom because we've got a good seal this time. Is it going anywhere, Pat? No, ma'am. So we're showing no infiltration here, which is what we'd expect. Um, as we were installing some new drainage features, we realized our pervious pavement was dirty. Ideally, it should be cleaned every year. Uh, there's special vacuum trucks that come and vacuum out pervious concrete and we hadn't done that so we were encountered with a very uh, difficult surface to clean the traditional way so we actually had unity pressure wash these parking stalls which are half pervious concrete and we're going to see now if it drains any better here than we witnessed over on the uncleaned pervious concrete and the 
um, regular parking lot impervious surface. So we're gonna do an infiltration test, the same one we just did on the pervious concrete that has been pressure washed and cleaned and see if we notice it spreading out less and infiltrating quicker. So, ready Pat? Yes, I'm gonna pull the plug. So to me, it looks like it's spreading out a little less quickly. This concrete has been around for 10 years, so it's seen its age a little bit. But I think with the pressure washing, we're able to get a few more years of life out of it. Um, it looks like it's infiltrating, it's not spreading anymore. Great. So what is so important about the pervious concrete? Well, look, cities and suburbs are constantly expanding, obviously. Uh, natural areas are disappearing, uh, replaced by infrastructures, parking lots, uh, streets and sidewalks. And the absence of these natural surfaces has greatly interrupted the water, natural water cycle. So as a result, you have impervious concrete and stormwater management systems. Right. But so we're, we're next to these infrastructures, we have the buildings. Why is it so important to have this around all the buildings in the area? Well, pervious concrete is a simple lasting solution that imitates and recreates the natural hydro hydrologic cycle involving the continuous circulation of water uh, in the earth atmosphere system. The, this concrete is a special type of concrete with high porosity used for concrete flat work. You can see the aggregate and it's actually been torn up a little bit from the cleaning process, um, but it's used for concrete flat work applications and it allows water from precipitation and other sources to pass directly through, thereby, thereby reducing the runoff from a site and groundwater discharge. We, we started out just having two dry wells and then we realized that this area of the parking lot really was um, having some drainage problems that also led us uh, to add on maintaining some of our porous concrete that we talked about before. Um, so we cleaned that and we also added another dry well um, right, right below here is another dry well. And we're topping it off with some uh, permeable pavers similar to what is at the Vincent building. These were actually county uh, pavers that we reused and recycled for this project. Unity uh, Landscaping is doing a great job. They're working at a rapid pace and responding to all of our um, add-ons as we, we try to make it the best project we can.